Hello guys, what is going on? Techroom UK here. So for today's video, we have something really, really special. This is a portable SSD, four terabyte in terms of uh, storage capacity from Integral that supports speeds up to 2000 megabytes read and write speeds, which is really amazing. And it's really, really tiny. It's about this big. It's just an amazing piece of kit that uh, it's useful for content creators, gamers, if you want to take uh, storage on the go with you, this will be probably the best solution for yourself. So the name of it is Slim Express Pro Portable SSD. It works with uh, Mac OS, Windows, Android, Smart TVs and game, games consoles. So obviously you can plug it into your TV and record, uh, record stuff on it. You can uh, use it as a backup for your phone to back up your photos whatever if your phone supports type c just plug it in it will connect by itself yeah it's just it's just amazing it's uh really an amazing piece of kit so this is how the box looks like really tiny as you can see it's, uh, smaller than my hand on the back here we have some uh, specs so uh, super speed performance usb 3.2 gen 2 times 2 with up to 2000 megabytes a second read and write speed. Move with confidence, the slim metal casing provides style and protection, and we have some dimensions as well. 7.5 centimeters by 3.5 by 7 millimeters thick. So it's under one centimeter thick, which is uh, really great. So let's just go ahead and uh, open the box. I'm gonna show you guys what you get inside and uh, after that we are going to put it to the test so let's go ahead and do that right now all right so after opening the box this is pretty much what you get you get a user guide you get a usb type c to usb type c cable which is used to connect your SSD to one of your devices, being a game console, a TV, your phone, your laptop, your PC, your uh, MacBook. It's entirely up to you. They claim it works with a variety of devices, which is great. Another nice addition to this is this uh, USB Type-C to USB Type-A adapter, just because not a lot of people have a lot of USB Type-C ports available especially at those kind of specs for the required speeds. And this is really nice. They included one. Um, it's really nice to see that from Integral. So well done. And we have the SSD itself. As you can see, it's really tiny, full metal casing design with um, just the black bit here being uh, plastic on the top and on the bottom. On the top, we have the USB Type-C port, which is used to connect with that cable and pretty much that's it it just feels great it has a nice way to it it's uh, highly portable you can just put it in your pocket and go anywhere with it uh, it feels great uh, it feels good quality i am going to go ahead now and put it to the test i'm not sure which uh, types of file i'm going to use but uh, maybe i will use a crystal disk mark for a benchmark to see the full potential of this ssd so let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we have everything set up. We have plugged in the portable SSD from Integral to my PC. I plugged it into a 10 gig USB Type-C port, USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. So you will be able to get those fast speeds. But today I'm not going to do a benchmark. I already done a benchmark. If you guys want to see the benchmark results, I'm gonna pop them on the screen just now so as you can see it's able to get the 2000 megabytes a second read and write speed advertised in a benchmark but that's not the issue for today we want to put it to the test in a real world scenario so as you can see i have it here 3.72 4 terabyte uh, ssd it's empty and i am going to copy some files from my pc some youtube videos some youtube intros and some images from a game i'm just gonna copy it into the uh, portable ssd to see uh, the actual speed obviously if you have a faster nvme it will be a faster transfer speed 
but uh, most people do not have a high-end PC and I also feel like if somebody buys a 4 terabyte SSD they won't just use it for benchmarks so that's why we have to see real world applications either way it should be way faster than a hard drive and way faster than a USB or any other type of uh, SSD that's not USB uh, 3.2 gen 2 so we have about 35 gigs uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy them again so I'm just gonna press here copy and I'm gonna paste it here the SSD is empty we're just gonna do a test right now so I'm gonna paste so yeah it's getting about 600 something megabytes a second which is very very good because it's not one single large file to have that fast 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 speed it's a lot of 1 gig 2 gig 500 meg um, files so I feel like that's pretty good it's already halfway and it's been like a couple of seconds uh, it says 45 seconds but uh, in reality it's way way less than that so let's see how much it takes it's already 60 percent in there's a lot of videos some are 4k some are 1080p so it's different different types of um, files some images some uh, text but yeah it's doing pretty good it's it's already done basically so I'm, I'm really impressed by it it's a great accessory to have basically especially if uh, you're a content creator or you want some um, storage on the go it's done so it's literally been less than a minute basically i don't know i don't even know if it's been a minute so for 30 something gigs it's very very good and very fast for something that you can just plug in into your pc or your laptop and just take it out whenever you want you can also plug it into your phone or whatever if you have a phone with a usb type c port and you can save your uh, pictures your videos whatever you want to save you can save it there have it like as, as a backup you can also um, create folders basically it works like any other drive on your PC PC so you can create folders and yeah um, actually I'm actually really impressed by the speed and uh, real real world application it's it's really way better than a hard drive for example which is maximum 180 megabytes a second if it's a good one and it's very bulky as well this one it's literally this big so it's it's amazing and uh, yeah, if you guys want to buy this, I'll have a link in the video description down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.